Hello, good afternoon, I'm back, Lucha FM, with another episode of TW9 Fight Club Pro. I've got the uh, vintage RC lens shirt on, there you go, there's the badge. Um, I've got this in a mystery box, I really like this shirt, and it goes nicely with the mask. So there you go, I'm trying to be a bit more colour coordinate for the videos, trying to look a bit more appeasing on the eyes for you. Um, but yeah, so basically there's a new format, for people that don't know, there's a new format now, so instead of doing two videos a week, I'm going to do one longer video a week. So instead of two half an hour videos a week, I'm going to do one 50 minute to an hour video each week because um, from looking at the data, um, people are watching the first episode and not so much the second episode. Even though the TW community, don't get me wrong, you're a lot better at watching my videos than the, uh, I'm not having to go at anybody, but the football manager community. So I do appreciate you watching it, but I, I think it might be too much of a commitment for people to watch two videos a week. So instead, I'm going to do one video a week, a little bit longer on a Wednesday. So we're going to have TW Wednesdays from now on. Um, if you don't like that format, please let me know and I'll I'll think about doing maybe another episode on top each week. But for now, I'm just recording. I'm just set putting out videos Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Monday's Football Manager, Wednesday's TW9 and uh, Friday's Football Manager. So, yeah, that's how I'm going to do it from now on. Hopefully you'll like it. You'll enjoy the fact that it's a longer video. So we'll just crack on with it. So I'll be back in a sec and we'll talk about what's going on in the save. Thanks. Right, so here we are. Um, let's just show you the last couple of shows that we did. Where is it? Show history here. So there you go. So we go... I think it was about if we go from here so we had our event which was fight club pro street fight we had a rating of 50 104 people turned up which i think is our biggest uh, attendance we've done so far by the looks of it so that's impressive um the main event was um trent seven defeating yun akiyama it was going to be um our champion luke jacobs but unfortunately he was booked elsewhere so we kind of had to just pull up with what we could. Uh, Maki O is obviously is at the moment our biggest star. So I'm going to be pushing her in the main event. I, I mean, out of our, if I just quickly show you, if we look at the creative, according to the creative here, our franchise players are Maki O is number one. Mayu Yamashita is number two. Uh, Hikaru Shida is number three. And Christopher Daniels is number four. And then Jordine Grace is number five. So four out of the five are women. And then you look at the next big things. Uh, it's two women in here Venny, Mai, Saruga and then we've got Leighton Buzzard and Joe Lando and then the hot prospects is one, two, three, four, five. there's five women there there's hot prospects so we're going to start pushing them a bit I think um, especially Steph the Lander because I'm a bit of a fan of her so unfortunately she's injured in real life so I feel sorry for her at the moment because she's on a bit of a good run on the indies and that but it is what it is so yeah, well, anyway, so we've got our first show coming up. Um, we have got storylines that I'm loosely doing. Uh, EC3 versus Levi Moore. It's the, it's the main purpose is, it, is to get Levi Moore over. Uh, Martina versus Ito as well is a bit of a... Uh, it's just to give Ito our main star a storyline. Um, and I think Session Ma Martina as a heel has some good has some legs in it. I think it will go well. We'll just quickly show you the champions as well. So our heavyweight champion is Luke Jacobs. He has, um, he's been holding it for 112 days now. He's had 11 successful title defenses. Um, previous champion was Trent Seven, Rampage Brown, and Trent Seven again. And then our current tag team champions are Subculture of Mark Andrews and Flash Morgan Webster. They've had the titles for 161 days. They've had nine successful title defenses so far. Um, I won't go through all the previous tag team champions because we've had quite a few. Um, that's good that it, it, it holds up the previous history of the tag team champions here. So that's pretty good before we started it. So, um, but yeah, I think when we started it, it was um, Kid Lycos 1 and 2. They held it for 72 days and only defended it twice. So obviously I'm trying to have more emphasis on the tag team division. And then Maki Ito, she's only held the women's title for 28 days. But she's had two successful title defences so far. Uh, previous champions has been Session, Moth Martina and Millie McKenzie. So we've got some very good previous champions in there, which is good. It's what we like to see. What's our most over title, actually? Let's have a quick look. 
heavyweight titles 38, tag titles 29, women's championship is 35, the prestige. So that's good. And then I'll just quickly remind you of our new commentary team. It's Tom Campbell, because um, I'm a big fan of Coltaholic Podcast and I'm a big fan of Tom, so I decided to put him in there. We've got Don Callis and we've got Juicin Funder Liger as well. So a very weird commentary unit there, but it will hopefully work. Um, and we'll just crack on with the first show. But yeah, thank you for watching this so far. I hope you like. Hope you start to like the new format. Um, I always appreciate people's feedback. But yeah, let's just see what happens here. I'll get rid of that. Right, so Aaliyah James was brought before wrestlers court, accused of failing to pick up the share of the tab in the bar. Justin Lyon found her guilty and uh, sentenced, her to, uh, sentenced her to buy drinks for everybody at the show. Uh, one of the main discussions point backstage is the news that Makita and Mark Andrews are apparently now dating. Oh, that's really good. That's nice to see. I'm matchmaking again. We've got some, we're, we're building up a, a nice little collection of couples here in Fight Club Pro. We're bringing love to the world. Um, Jetta training, Trent Seven. Let's actually read this. Um, Pre show training skills to work on basics and safety for nine students. Brody Phillips, Joe Lando, Shea Purcell, Will Cruz, Levi Moore, Nathan Mine, Darren Kearney, and Elijah and Jack Stars. Van Storm has been passing on tips of psychology to Pro J, Tanil, and also Ty Valkyrie. We get that every show now. Um, Gene Money gave Locker Room a lift as, she, as he unveiled a series of spot on impressions of some of these colleagues. There's, there's some heat backstage between TK Cooper and the morale officer Tom Campbell. Ah, oh, poor Tom. Right, let's get on with the show. So, what I'm thinking of doing then is what we'll have first is we'll have Levi Moore versus Gene Money. Mooney, however you want to pronounce it. For 15 minutes, we'll have Levi Moore win. Um, we'll have an open match. Um, we'll have. Do, 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 actually, no, we won't do anything like that. Um, and then what we'll do, we'll do the angle afterwards, where we'll have EC3. Uh, um, no, 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 no. Cutting a promo on Levi Mule. Off, off screen? I don't know which one it is. Which one is it? Victim, I suppose. Victim? Well, that is victim. We could be wrong. EC3 promo on Levi Mule. So we'll do that. Um, we'll just click that just in case it doesn't automatically do it I think it does anyway but just to be on the safe side right and then what we'll do is we'll have EC3 um, here we'll have him against men's we have him against Christopher Daniels we'll have him against Christopher Daniels we'll have EC3 win Um, open match and then what we'll do is we'll do a um, botched interference so it needs to be on Christopher Daniels done it um, Levi Mule I think this is right so basically he meant to interfere on EC3 but he accidentally interfered and uh, caused Christopher Daniels to lose the match and then what we'll do afterwards is we'll have Levi Mule attack, Christopher Daniels attack, um, EC3 victim, and then we'll have, who should we have to save? We'll have Grado. Hold on, I need to find where it says save. Uh, uh. Uh, making the save, there we go. So I'll just put Grado saves EC3 from post oh, post match attack. Right. And then the next show, if I remember, no more luck, I'll probably forget, we'll just book a tag team match. So what we'll do now is 
we will add to we'll add them we'll add Christopher Daniels he can align with Levon Muir as a supporting role and then we'll add Grado he can align with EC3 so that adds them to the, the storyline let me just check I've actually done that with that have I done that properly yeah through there right so that's that um, that's the angles done as well so that we don't need to worry about that so then what we'll do we'll do a women's match and we'll do session Moth Martina versus Maya Yamashita I hope I pronounced the name right I do apologize if I haven't I'll have session Mark Martina win we'll have a win with a tainted win um, we'll book that and then what we'll do is we'll do an angle and we'll have session Mark Martina attacking Maya Yamashita is the victim and we'll have Maki Ito hold on making the save Ito saves Yamashita just do this as well the advanced storyline uh, I actually need to do that for this one as well no where am I going this one there we go uh, let me know in the comment section if I need to do this. I don't think I need to do this. I think it does it automatically. But anyway. Right. So we've done quite a bit now. So what I'm going to just do is I'm just going to do one more match. And we'll have a champion if he's available. Yes, he is. So I'll have Luke Jacobs. Now, who has Luke Jacobs not wrestled before on this roster? Spike Trivet. I don't think he's wrestled him yet. Uh, I know he's wrestled Michael Oku. Oh yeah, we, this was meant. To, no, do you know what? I won't do that one because Yun Yaki Yun Akiyama didn't exactly have a stellar match in against Trent, so we'll leave that. Um, I'll go put him against Connor Mills. I think Connor Mills is pretty decent, isn't he? We'll go twenty minutes. Put the title on the line, like so. I'll have Luke Jacobs win. Open match, and we'll go. No, 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 no. I want this one. There you go. Still the show. Right. Let's see how we get on. All right. I feel like this actually has a bit of thinking behind it for a change. So I'm hoping that's okay with everybody else. Oh, that's not good. So I had Raven as Gene Money's manager because I'm I'm thinking of doing the new flock, but obviously um, with Raven as the manager. But obviously, G Money's not going to be in it, I don't think. Because him and Raven don't have any chemistry, which is a shame. Um, Levi Morwen, by submission. The segment 39, 35 for the wrestling. Both got 35 overall. Yeah, okay, I get, I get the hint. I get it. Um, right, I need to remember to do that. Uh... Right, uh, I had a few technical issues there. Sorry about that. I've uh, edited the video because um, you, yeah, anyway, I won't bore you with the details. Right, um, so we're back. I've got the document up here. Remove Raven as Gene Money's manager. So we did the angle afterwards. Um, did we miss the... Hmm. Oh, no, we didn't. No, this is the angle after the Levi Mule match. I think about seven. Jesus Christ. An awful five-minute angle. Okay, so I must have done something terrible on this angle then. Um, but, oh, okay. Yeah, so I botched up the angle. So I did a... Okay, someone let me know in the comment section what I was meant to do, please. I would appreciate the help on that one. Um, right, EC3 defeated Christopher Daniels. Um, got 43 for the segment, 40 for the wrestling. Christopher Daniels was slightly better. And obviously help with the storyline. Angle afterwards got 32. Angle got the crowd hotter. So that's good. Uh, Pre-booking. There we go. So what we could do here is just do episode pre. There we go. I've got to try and remember this now. So we do uh, Levi Muir and 
Uh, Christopher Daniels versus EC3 and Grado. So that's that. And then what we'll do is... Ah, we'll, we'll figure out the booking afterwards. Um, yeah, just need to name it. Right, pre-book. Um, need to write this down. Remember to book the tag team match. There you go. That'll just be like a reminder for me, don't worry. Right, so that's that done. And then we have Session Moth Martina defeated Maya Yamashita um, using the ropes for leverage. The segment got a very impressive 65. Wrestling got a 58. Yamashita was amazing. 65, which is pretty good for us. Um, 51 for Session Moth Martina. Maya's getting better at a gimmick as well, which is great to see. And then we saw... Um, we saw Maki Ito, sorry I couldn't get my words out there, make the save for uh, the attack by Session Mark Martina on Maya Yamashita, got 48. And then the main event, Luke Jacobs defeated Connor Mills with a figure four leg lock. Um, 70 for the segment, so that's really good. 59 for the wrestling. Lee, uh, Luke Jacobs with a 66 reign, Connor Mills went too bad with 53. The match got the crowd buzzing. And it was an exceptional match. So there you go. Excellent. We didn't get any popularity changes, but we got a very impressive overall rating of 62. I reckon if we hadn't got this, if we hadn't botched this angle here that I did, we would have improved our popularity and we would have got a bigger overall rating. But these things happen. I learn, I gotta learn as I'm playing the game. So yeah, and we got 70 people in, which ain't too bad. Uh leave that for now. We lost. We lost 10 grand on this show, but that is expected. Right then, I'll come back with the next show in a minute. Right, right we're back. Uh, we've got the next Blackout episode. I have got rid of Raven as Gene Money's manager. Just get rid of that. Right, locker room instance. Jordan Grace got into an argument with Tom Campbell backstage, annoyed at the morales officers' attempts at team building. That's such a shame. <laughs> Poor Tom. Um, Emmy Sakura has been passing on tips on the microwave. On the microwave. <laughs> That's, that, that needs to be clipped if somebody's got the uh, the guts to do it. <laughs> on the microwave. <laughs> right. Um, Emmy Sakura has been passing, <laughs> passing on tips on microphone work to a protege Rio. Uh, Mac, uh, Miko Sakura remind right Miko Satamora has been passing on her tips to being better at booking to her protege Chihiro Hashimoto and then your stooge Levi Grace tells you that she's been hurt that she's heard that young Akiyama has been grumbling that she should be in the booking team okay fair enough uh training training that was then I did it too quickly sorry Jim Hunter lifted the locker room with uh when a silly game he created quickly became a very popular one backstage saka sorry emery sakura has come to you backstage with an idea for creative finish uh, right i just need to add something to this document here add yun akiyama to the booking team it might work out well for us even though i don't really pay much attention to the booking team anyway Right, so let's start the show. Um, we have a pre, where is it? Where's the pre import? No, is it import? I don't think it's import, is it? No. Uh, pre booking, there we go. Right, so we'll add this match, add to booking sheet. And we, what we'll do is, no, we'll leave it as. 15 minutes just to be on the safe side we'll have Christopher Daniels and Levi Milwin um, we'll add it as an open match we'll do some storytelling as well we'll have that right so that's that and then we'll do a post match beat down by the heels Levi Mule attack 
Just look at Daniels. Attack. EC3. Victim. Grado. Victim. I'll just put in post match beat though. Be a lot quicker. Uh, I'll leave it. I won't. I'll see if it automatically advances the storyline, and then I'll know for next time. Right. So that's that. And then what we'll do is we'll do. We'll have um, Makito versus um, we'll have her versus Hikaru Shida. We've got 18 minutes, we'll put the title on the line. We'll go steal the show. We'll have Maki Ito as the winner. Uh, keep strong. No, I won't do that because I remember when you keep strong somebody, it, it kind of hinders the match. So we'll leave it as that. Um, okay, they're saying don't put in a match that long. Fine. Try that. It's right, there's a tiny little gnat fly that's just there we go. Right. Um and then what we'll do is we'll have session Marco Martina attacking Matty uh Maki Ito after the match. Right, so that's that. So that's the angles done. And then what we'll do, because we haven't had a tag team match for a while for the title, so we'll do a four-way tag team match. We'll have the tag champions in it. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll have Lycos Jim. Um, POD maybe. More than the hype. We'll have malicious intent. We've got a pretty decent tag team division, to be honest. We're pretty lucky with the women's. And I'd say the only thing, I'd say the, the men's singles division is a little, I think it's lacking a bit in contenders. Um, but the tag division and the women's division is pretty good. This and that's starting to drive me mad, everybody. Um, what I'm going to do is let the AI decide. So you never know, we might have new tag team champions. And then we've got enough time for one more match. So we'll go a little bit crazy and we'll do a 10 way singles match because why the hell not? It's going to be a very expensive show to book with all these wrestlers. So is Luke Jacobs available? Yes, he is. So we've got Luke Jacobs, we'll have Trent, um, TK Cooper, Spike Trivet, Ricky Knight Jr. Man like Reese, Lee Hunter, Kenny Williams. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Joseph Connors. Um, and I reckon uh Callum Newman. He's a pretty good worker. So we'll go twenty minutes, put the title on the line. And what I'm also going no, I'm not. Hmm, do I? Is it time to see if the AI... Do you know what? I'm going to take a risk here. And I'm going to let the AI decide who wins this match. And we'll see how it goes. Because we might have a new champion. We might have two new champions here at this point. We might have new tag team champions and a heavyweight champion. <laughs> Sorry. Right, let's see how we get on. So, the tag team grudge match... Um, had fantastic heat and good wrestling. Levi Muir and Christopher Daniels defeated EC3 and Grado when Levi Muir pinned EC3. Um, 41 for the segment, 36 for the wrestling. Christopher Daniels was the best worker out of the four. The uh, this match got the show off to a strong start. The match got the crowd hotter. The angle afterwards got a 38 and got the crowd hot as well. And it did advance the storyline, so I don't need to put it in every time, so that's good. I, f I remembered that, but I just, I, for some reason, I forgot today. Right, Maki Ito, I think that little gnat 
gone in my throat. I feel like it, I've accidentally swallowed it. That's why I keep doing that with my throat. I'll, I'll, by the time you get to the next part of this video, I'll, I'll be sorted. Don't worry. Right, Maki Ito defeated Shida um, with submission with the Ito Deluxe. And then Maki Ito makes defense number three of the women's title. 67 for the segment, 59 for the wrestling. Both wrestlers got a 59. Uh, unfortunately, Hikaru Shida was really off her game. The angle afterwards got a 38, advanced the storyline. And then um, the tag team title match, we had Subculture actually retain the tag titles. So I think they're going to be tag champions for a long time by the looks of it. Um, segment got a 68, 61 for the wrestling. 72 for Mark Andrews, 70 for Ash Morgan Webster. They're just amazing workers. We're very lucky to have them. I hope we have them for a long time. Uh, Kid Lycos too did or did quite well. So did Michael Oku. Um, and that's that really. Right, and then the main event, Trent Seven. So we've got a new champion, everyone. Luke Jacobs has lost the title. Doesn't mean he won't continually get pushed. Um, but you know, Trent Seven is the is one. Won his third title since I've started to say third heavyweight title. But um, yeah, Trent Seven defeated the rest of them. Um, he pinned Joseph Connors, and then the match. Um, it was an exceptional match. And got sixty four for the segment, fifty four for the wrestling. Let's see who was the best worker. Uh, best worker was Luke Jacobs and Trent Seven. So they are probably our best men's workers. Uh, Callum Newman seemed off his game, but yeah, not too bad. So we've got a new champion, everyone, Trent Seven, again. Increased our popularity in one region, got a 61 overall rating, and 70 people turned up. So not too bad at all. Oh, okay, I double-clicked that by accident. Um, so we've got 16 in the Midlands at the moment. Right there, you know the score by now. I'll be back in a sec with the next show. Oh, hello. I'll be back in a sec with the next show. Right, so here we are. We've got our big event. Um, I'll talk about it in a second, what I'm going to do. I'm just going to sort this out first. I forgot to put yeah, Akiyama and the booking team. I meant to do that before this show. Uh, the usual Landstorm passing on. Oh, passing on. Um... Satamora passing on tips to her protege, same with uh, her as well. Um, apparently, the pair of Mark Andrews and Flash Morgan Webster have been hanging out. Well, of course, they're flipping mates and tag team champions. Okay. Right. Kid Lycos 2 came to you backstage for creative finish. He's Spire. There you go. Right. So. We'll start the show with Levi Moore versus EC3, as that's one of our big feuds. I'm going to go with a dog collar match. Hopefully, that will let. Hopefully, they'll let me do it. We'll go hard wall brawl. We'll go wall brawl. Open match. We'll have EC. No, we'll have Levi Moore win this one. Unhappy at the book in the show, request that you alter it. Okay, um, okay, I'm going to change it then. We'll get rid of this. Oh, that wasn't meant to happen. Why is it not? I don't, why are you not working? There we go. Right, um, keep strong. Uh, need to get rid of that. We'll go script. We'll go over over book. Okay, so they don't want to sit with EC three in this match for that long. So we go ten minutes. There we go. Sorted. Um, we'll do an EC three promo afterwards. I'm Levi Muir. I need to figure out which one it is. Non-speaking appearance. No, he's going to be in the... Yeah, non-speaking appearance. He's going to be the victim of EC3 post-match promo. Right. I'm hoping that works out well. Uh, 
Um, we're going to have a tag team title match. I'm hoping we can do a tag team title match because other people might be. So we've got Flash Morgan Webster, we've got Mark Andrews. Yeah, so we can do a tag team title match. So we'll go tag team view. Uh, let's go New Blood. Seventeen minutes for the tag title. Um, we'll go ladder match. We'll go ladder match. It's a it's an event. We need to go a bit all out high spots. Um, open match. We'll leave it blank. We'll let the AI decide, and then what we'll do is we'll have allow spinal impact moves, allow high risk moves. segment oh yep that's fine um ba -ba 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 -ba. right so we'll do we'll do a promo now session math martina putting a promo on oh we can't do session math martina she's not available so we'll leave that angle for now um we'll do the match first and then we'll figure out the angle afterwards Right, so we'll do a one on one match and we'll have, let's have a look at the women's division. Jordine Grace, where are you? Is she available? She is, good. So we'll have Jordine Grace versus Lady Frost. I don't think she's wrestled for us yet. I mean, she might have one, I can't remember. So 15 minutes, we'll have Jordine Grace dominate her. We'll go 10 minutes actually if it's an all that match. And then we'll have Jordy and Grace. Uh, put in a promo. Lady Frost. None speak in appearance. Grace. Next match, we'll do another singles match. We'll do Callum Newman versus who should we have him against? Uh, hmm. We're quite thin on the men's roster at the moment when it comes to because of the shows. Black Terry, no. Uh, Cody Flash. So 15 minutes, we'll, have, we'll leave it blank. We'll just leave it like that, actually. And then, right, how long are we done? We've done 75 minutes. We could probably do two more matches. So is Maki Ito available? I think she is, isn't she? No, she's not. Okay, so we'll do Satamora. We'll give her a one-on-one -on -one match against Millie. Teacher versus student for people who remember NXT UK. They never actually pulled the trigger on the storyline with Millie McKenzie turning on Satamora, which is a shame. Um, we'll leave it blank. We'll just let the AI decide. And then what we'll do, we'll do the main event. And we're going to have Luke Jacobs versus Trent Seven. We're going to have Luke Jacobs have his rematch for the title because he never got pinned. So we'll go do that. I'll have the title on the line. fact we'll change the match we'll do cage escape um, we'll leave it blank we'll let the AI decide um, we'll go spectacle see if that helps in any way maybe it doesn't I don't know we'll go 20 minutes yeah right we've gone slightly over okay that's fine and we need to do an angle so what we're gonna have to do is we're probably gonna have to get rid of we'll get rid of jody flies versus Callum Newman. we'll leave it as that so yeah we'll just keep that right then so ec3 defeated levi mule in a dog collar match in with the one percenter um 
I assume the dog collar match was meant to be hitting all the four posts, but oh well. Segment got 39, 36 for the wrestling. AC3 was uh, a little bit better than Levi Moore. And uh, they have great chemistry, and the match uh, started the show on a, on a strong start, so that's good. The angle afterwards got a 34. Uh, AC3 did a masterful job of improvising and interaction with the crowd. Right, New Blood defeated Subculture in a ladder match. So we've got new tag team champions, everybody. This is going to be uh, an episode, a memorable episode for people. First time they've lost the tag titles since they've won them, um, which is obviously stating the obvious there. I've just As soon as I said that, I was like, well, obviously. Sorry, everybody. Anyway, second got a 64, 66 for the wrestling, uh, 83 for Mark Andrews. He, ha he, he does very well in ladder matches. I need to remember that. Um, Flash Morgan Webster got a 71. The other two did okay. Um, there was times when there was definite lack of psychology on display in the match with tendency to draft a little, uh, drift a little, sorry. Went too long given his aim. How long was it? Was it 20 minutes? Uh, does it say? Oh yeah, 16 minutes. Okay, fair enough. Right. But at least we know Mark Andrews is a specialist in ladder matches, so that's good. Right. Jordan Grace defeated Lady Frost in just under 10 minutes with the fall from Grace. Got 49 for the segment, 49 for the wrestling. Jordan Grace was amazing, 65. Lady Frost was not very good at all. Um, she was all right. She wasn't like amazing, but she was all right. Promo afterwards, uh, Jordan Grace struggled when going off script. Got 25, that's a shame. And then Millie McKenzie defeated Miko Satomura, which is a big, big win for Millie. Fair play. Second got a 73, 66 for the wrestling. Uh, Miko Satomura only with a 59. Are you joking? She's one of the best women's wrestlers ever. Uh, Millie McKenzie got a 72 though, so that's pretty good. And then the main event, when I let the AI decide who wins, I just assumed Luke Jacobs would retain his title, but he didn't. So Trent Seven retained, sorry, not, not retained. I, I thought Luke Jacobs would regain the title, but he didn't. But anyway, Trent Seven defeated Luke Jacobs in a cage match. When Trent Seven escaped from the cage, um, it was an exceptional match. Got 55 for the segment, 57 for the wrestling. Trent Seven makes successful defence number one of his title. Both wrestlers were pretty good. The match got the crowd buzzing. So, yeah, so we've increased our popularity in one region, 56 rating overall, and we've got a new record crowd of 110 people. So that's really good. Lots of positives there. I need to give Mark Andrews on a great performance um we'll do flash morgan webster on a good performance he wasn't a mate like he was decent but there we go financial report so here we go we made about overall loss of eight thousand so that's pretty good ticket sales are slightly up merchandise um but yeah we don't seem to be losing as much money as before maybe i've got that wrong midlands we were still 16 popularity that's that really so I think we've got enough time for one more show to book. So I'll be back in a second. We'll book that. Right. So we're back for a our last show of the episode. Um, we're going to go Starworks as usual. And then we're just going to ignore that as usual. Right. So Christopher Daniels came to you backstage and said that he thinks Elijah UK has a bright future and that he'd be willing to put him over in a match. Oh, my God. That's really impressive. Because that's the second wrestler to go out of their way to want to put him over. That's really good. Um, Tayo Valkyrie came to you with a creative finish. Nathan Cruz had a small backstage clash with Tom Campbell, the morale officer. Training, training. Uh, Emery Sakurora, can't, no, that's wrong. Emery Sakura has been passing on a tips to Rio. Uh, your stooge Levi Grace lets you know that he's noticed that Mayu Yamashita has been grumbling about, about being a better choice for chief enforcer than the current line. Okay, so I need to add, I need to add that to the notepad thing I've got here so we'll go Maya Yamashita um, that was unfortunate I just forgot to put the A there Yamashita better choice better choice no hold on I'll just put have as chief enforcer there we go right your stooge Levi Grace, she's uh she's doing well here. Tells you that she's heard that David 
Rain has been grumbling that he should be on the booking team. Okay, so I need to add David Rain and Akiyama to the booking team. There we go. Right. Whether they work out well, I don't know. But we'll see. I need to remember to do that before I finish this episode. Right there. So let's book. Um, what we'll do is we'll have a multi-person match. We'll do a six-way match to start the show. And what we'll do, we'll have EC3 in there, Levi Moore, Christopher Daniels, Grado. And we'll put two others in there, men's. And we'll have um, Yun Yakiyama, I suppose, Lee Hunter. We're just throwing bodies in there, really. 15 minutes. Uh, uh, Levi Norwin. We'll keep EC3 strong so he doesn't complain. Hopefully, he lets us do the match how we want to do. Right, that's fine. He's fine with that. And then what we'll do is we'll do EC3 cutting a promo. And Levi Moore. Actually, no, we'll, we'll change that. We'll have them two cutting a promo on each other. We'll just put promo battle. Okay, so that's that. And then what we'll do now is we'll do a six women's, we'll do a six women's match. I think I said that right. We'll have Millie McKenzie in there. Uh, Sheeda. Um, Heidi, no, no, not Heidi Katrina, Jordine Grace. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Nico, uh, Maya, Mayu, sorry. And then the last one we'll put in Taya Valkyrie. And we'll just do that, leave it blank. We'll do another match. We'll just do singles matches now. We'll do one on one. Uh, but for the hell of it, I'm gonna have Mark Andrews versus Flash Morgan Webster, just for the the hell of it in a ladder match. We'll go 15 minutes. We'll go high spots. Open match. Call that match. Um. We need to do another angle at some point, so. Da, 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 da. Right. From a battle from um, Right. Do a match first. Do a women's match. And we'll have. Can we have Maki Ito? No, we can't. She's not available. Oh, she is. What am I about? There she is. So we'll have Maki Ito. Versus, hmm, who should we have her against? Not Session Moff Martina. Maybe Venny. We'll have her against Venny. We'll just do it 10 minutes because Venny's very, uh, she's very green. We'll keep Venny strong. And then. What we'll do? Did I put the women's title on the line? I did. Okay. And what we'll do is we will do session. Mark Martina cutting a promo. Makio cutting a promo on each other after the match. Promo battle. V two. Right. And then we'll do one more match. We'll do one more match. We'll have Trent Seven defend his title against Chris Hero. We'll go 10 minutes for that one because I don't think Chris Hero can do any longer than that. And we'll have Trent retain it. Uh, okay, bear with us. Chris Daniels can be the road agent. Right, let's crack on then. So. Levi Moore obviously defeated EC3 and the rest of them. Got a 41 for the segment. 
Uh, Levon Morpin, Yun Yakiyama, so that's good. Uh, he's defeated a legend in this match. Wrestling got a 40. Is Levi more improving at all in the ring? In, he got a 31 last one, didn't he? So he's slightly improving. Uh, Stand-up performer was probably Lee Hunter with a 50. Uh, Levi Moore was really off his game. Angle Afton's got a 40. Obviously EC3 is pretty good on the mic. Unfortunately, Levi Moore needs to have a script. Uh, Hikaru Shida defeated Millie McKenzie. Uh, Jordan Grace, Miko Satomura, Mayu Yamashita and Taya Valkyrie. Um, when she pinned Taya Valkyrie with the Tamashi, uh, got a 60 for the segment, 60 for the rest, and so that's pretty good. All the women seem to perform really well, Yamashita especially. Um, Taya Valkyrie was the weak link in the match. And obviously David Rain needs to be, we need to remove him as a road agent. Remove Dave Rain as road agent. There we go. Right, uh, Mark Andrews defeated Flash Morgan Webster in a ladder match. Got 50, uh, in 15 minutes, Mark Andrews won. Lots of high spots. Segment got 77, wrestling with 69. Fortunately, he didn't replicate his performance in the last event, but he still got 73. Flash Morgan Webster with 65. So it was a fun little match to do between tag team partners. Um... Forward thinking, what I should have done is I should have done like an angle for them to turn on each one of them to turn on each other. But I actually don't want to get rid of them as a tag team yet. I think there's there's more legs in them as a tag team, um, and I do think they've got another reign with the tag titles down the road. So we'll see. And then we had Maki O defeated Venny, um, fifty eight for the segment, sixty two for the wrestling. Uh, Venny was slightly better than Maki O, so that's good. And then. The angle afterwards got a 61. Both was really good on the mic. And then in the main event of the last show of the episode, Trent Seven defeated Chris Hero in 10 minutes with the Lariat. Um, 63 for the segment, 56 for the wrestling. Trent Seven was the better performer with a 65. And then we've improved our popularity in one region, which is really good. 64 for the overall rating and then 72 people turned up so we're slightly improving and I'll leave that and we lost 18 we lost 19,000 on that show but that was because of the amount of wrestlers I put on the show we've improved our popularity now we've gone from 16 to 17 so that's really good hopefully if I can improve our popularity in every episode eventually we'll get to a point where I can get a TV deal which will help us financially because that's the aim is to try and get somebody to pay us for the content that we're producing but we'll have to wait for a bit longer for that oh there we go we've risen to a tiny size we've gone from insignificant to tiny Benny is a star in the making we should make some serious money in the future so we need to give Benny a bit of a push as well um, let's just see if we can get a TV deal we can't let me just reset this first and then what we'll do is go yes. No. So we're still, I reckon we've got to get to a 20 popularity. But at least we've risen to tw uh, to, to tiny size. So that's good to, to know. Right, I just need to do a couple of things. So where is the, the booking team? Right, okay. So alter booking team. Um, who's the current booking team, actually? So we've got Brian Alvarez as the head booker. And then Trent Seven as the other one. So... What we'll do is um booking team right alter booking team we need to remove i think margera is not happy about that we need to remove um we need to add you and then we need to add you i think he wants to be head booker don't he i need to get rid of how do i get rid of the head booker is that even possible it tell you here alter booking team but it doesn't tell you how to get changed head booker so i'll have to leave that for now we need to get rid of david rain as a road agent i think that's the only role he's actually in at the moment so we'll just get rid of david rain altogether because he just seems to be useless 
So we won't have him on the booking team now. Um, so that's that sorted. Right, let me just check my notepad before I go. Yeah, Yamashita needs to be head uh, chief enforcer. So um, we'll get rid of, we won't get, who should we get rid of? Ricky Knight Jr. we'll get rid of. He's only a young lad. We'll replace him with Mayu Yamashita. There we go. Happy days. Makiyuto is happy with that as well, which is good to know. So that's that. Let me just check the rest. So did I do Yamashita? I think I did. No, um, Akiyama. Sorry, I put Akiyama as. Right, that's everything on the notepad. And then let me just check first. Booking team. Yeah, Yun Yakiyama. Right, so that's that done. I'm calling it a day. Uh, let me just expand this. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the new longer video. I have put some thought into what I'm doing booking wise now as well. So for the people who don't like my scatterbrain way of doing the booking, um, hopefully that will entice you to watch more. Um, I'm still doing sort of like on the fly. Um, what's it called? Just on the fly booking. There we go. So that's still there. But yeah. Anyway, I'll be back next Wednesday with another episode. Um, let me know in the comments section what you think of this video. I really do appreciate your lot's feedback. And enjoy the rest of your week. All the best. Bye.